What's going on people? It's Wednesday, 13th of September 2023. You join me in Ibiza. Next stop on this little mini tour of Europe. So, 40 hours on Ibiza. All I'm doing is going out. I'm not seeing anything, I'm not doing anything. I've been to Ibiza before. Obviously, there's quite a bit I want to do, but I just don't think I've got the time. My flight to Lisbon departs in less, about well, basically 40 hours. So, uh, yeah, about an hour ago, checked in, and now I'm just taking a walk. I mean, I'm staying in San Antonio, which is, no, sorry, northwest of the island, and I'm just gonna take a walk. I'm trying to buy some tickets for tonight. So, plan is basically Sea Fisher tonight at high, and then tomorrow, Table Buzz at high. Two artists, Fisher I've seen before, but some of the videos he's putting out recently have been unreal, and Table Buzz, I've seen videos of that. So I want to see that. Um, apart from that, won't be getting up to that much because the problem is with Ibiza is the nights are long. Probably gonna be in bed about 6 a.m. and it's a long night, so you can't really plan anything during the day unless you've got a long period, long, longer time period here. So if you like it here for a week, you probably do like two or three, four events. Then you take probably like one or two, one or two days off and do stuff during the day. But obviously I'm here on my own, 40 hours. It's gonna massively limit what I can do during the day because obviously there's just gonna be no time getting like if you go to bed at 6 a.m. we're saying I'm not gonna be up till probably midday one two then you've got to have a nap as well because you don't you don't get to the clubs until like one-ish so half twelve one-ish it gets quite late so yeah obviously I try to do something during the day tomorrow today I've just got to sort tickets out really that's sorted but yeah looking forward to it I haven't been to Ibiza since 2018 uh, where I saw Eric Prids Camel Fat Went to Elro Amnesia uh, at Ushuaia and I did uh, a boat at Amnesia. Three sick events I did both. I met a good few lads who I uh, actually kept in touch with. So um, this one's going to be a bit different. 40 hours in and out of Ibiza. Let's get it done. So stay tuned for basically just partying. It's not going to be much to see. It's just a case of just me showing you a club. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thoughts on the trip so far? Overall, it's been good. I've enjoyed it. It's nappy. I feel like I've not really wasted any time. I've kind of seen everything I want to see, so relatively happy. But yeah, time to crack on. Let's go and find these tickets and then uh, get, and get some lunch, even though it's like five o'clock, and then uh, head back, chill, get a nap, pre-rave nap, and then uh, yeah, head out tonight. So stay tuned. 48 hours on Ibiza, and I wish I did have longer, but I just don't have the time, unfortunately. So maybe sometime, sometime in the future I'll come back. Like, I, I know I'm going to come back to Ibiza. It's, it's one of these places I'm going to keep coming back to because obviously I love the party scene, I love the dance scene. Dance scene, this is the capital of parties. The best parties on the planet happen in Ibiza. So let's go. 48 hours on Ibiza. Let's go. Just by the harbour now, and it's so nice to see all the boats out. Some absolutely incredible yachts. Mainly down there, we've missed them, but even some of these, like, imagine going out today, what a day. Just got me thinking though, like, it's pretty much five years since I came here. Five years ago since I start, pretty much started this channel. The, I, the Ibiza trip in August 2018 was the last trip I think I did where I didn't film something, or didn't film any sort of content, I think. Maybe film bits for Instagram, but not for something like a full-length video. So it's weird, it's like getting like these rush of memories from last, like last, well, like last time I was here and also like this crazy journey I've been in the last five years, completely different person, like the amount of time and money and effort I've put into trying to change who I am as a person. And it's like, I come back to a place now that almost was before that and it's, it's very weird, very humbling. And I think it just reminds me like, I've just got to keep pumping that, that sort of wheel and, and just keep pushing on because you come back and you can reflect on your time and you notice that I've changed for better. I've ch I have changed for the better, but ultimately it's probably like I probably haven't had that realization. And I've kind of realized it, but until you like you're back somewhere where you've been before you before that, I suppose that journey, it's 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 quite yeah, it's quite like I don't know. It just it just makes me reflect a bit on the the last sort of five years. One where they've gone, and two, it's been man, it's crazy. I feel like I've lived about five lives. I've changed a tremendous amount, but yeah. It's, I wouldn't change it for the world. Will not change anything for the last five years. Okay, maybe a few bits, but I can't, nothing that sticks in my head. I think, yeah, it's just a bit crazy. Anyway, I need to stop vlogging because I need to go and find tickets, so I'll catch you in a bit. Late lunch, done and dusted. Now just walking along San Antonio Bay, got folks behind me, sea behind me, and then to the left here, got S. Powdy and Eden, two of the biggest clubs in Ibiza. I've not been to them. The only places I've done in Ibiza are Shwaya, Amnesia, and High. So I'm gonna have to come back at some point and do those. Which is what I mean about I beat mean, there's so much to do. Like it's not just the club scene, there's obviously got the beaches and things like that. So yeah, a lot to do in this place, unfortunately. 
in the seven days of my life I've spent here, or going to spend in total, just not ticked off as much as I would have liked. But I've seen, had some amazing parties and met some cool people over here. So just gonna keep walking down there and then head back for a nap. And then get ready for tonight. Absolutely buzzing for it. Night one Ibiza. So I've walked all the way from over there somewhere, all the way around the harbour, past Cafe Mambo, the famous Cafe Mambo. And I'm just walking up here and then uh, yeah, gonna head back to the hostel now and uh, get some rest at a nap. But it's been such a good sort of hour walking on the, the coast. Ibiza is beautiful, such a beautiful place. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it here. Couldn't live here, but I absolutely love coming back. It would now be back in the future. It's beautiful. Anyway, let's head back, get some rest. Nap done. Got changed, dressed, and now I'm about to head out, head high. I beat the round one, 2023. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, what's going on people? So, night one, done, Fisher, what an absolute night. So good to be back in Ibiza and there's a reason why Ibiza has the best clubs, the best DJs, the best parties and it's just, yeah, an amazing night. My first night back in Ibiza in five years. Just an incredible night. Uh, just played all his best tracks, put in some like old school Ibiza tunes like Destination Calibri I think it is. Like popular tunes that have been remixed like somebody that I used to know and and then all his like, main ones like Losing It, uh, uh, World Hold On, uh, It's a Killer. It was just incredible. The reason people come here every single year because these places put on the best performances and like I'm not gonna lie, like the tickets was, was expensive but it was it was comparable to what you'd probably pay for like a, a, day, a day to get a festival but the clubs out here were just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable and the energy and everyone's there for dance music. When you're paying like 50, 60, 70, sometimes up to 100 euros for a ticket. Everyone is there for the music and I'm there for the music. So, yeah, it's just, what a night. What an absolute night. My only criticism is that I didn't go to bed till about 8 a.m. I left the club at six and then was trying to get a bus back. Missed the bus, because it was too full. So I have to get the seven o'clock bus, didn't get back till about quarter to eight and then obviously by the time I got ready, so it was like 8 a.m. And that's the one downside, I think don't get like, so Fisher started at 3am and then was 3am to a close which is 6am. I just don't get why they put it on so late. I understand it's part of the IB for life and whatever but it's just like, it could have come on at 1 or 2 and you still have the same impact. But obviously I understand these clubs have to make money and ultimately the longer the club is open then the more they, they sort of, they get money and drinks and stuff so I understand it but yeah, was not pleasant going to bed at 8 o'clock. A little bit broken this morning. I'm actually, I'm not tired, but sore throat. I don't feel like I need a nap, but yeah, it's just a long night. A long, long, long night. I probably need a nap late before round two, but Ibiza, it's so good to be back. I think the other thing is what I didn't like about last night was when I was walking to the club, like so many people were just like offering you like bags and drugs and pills and I don't remember that from last time when I was in Ibiza. I just remember being very clean cut and very classy and if that stuff sort of happened it was like hush hush where it was like it was just on the street just guys just offering it. It wasn't like one or two it was like 15, 20, 25 people which I didn't really like. I think the other thing as well like last night so many zombies on the dance floor. Like obviously it's to be expected dance music you know drugs are part of the dance dance music culture obviously i've never taken the drugs don't drink either as you guys know so i've been around it at festivals and things and things like that and you see it done but i don't know i've never seen so many people in one place completely zombied i don't remember that from last time at all but like it doesn't i, I know i guess sometimes I get asked like 
like how do you do it like being completely sober and it's just like I'm not I don't care about it's about my own experience and like someone's annoying like they're taking too much and a bit all over the place I just kind of move myself to a different area of the club and it's fine it's completely my experience and there's so much going on with the pyro and the pyrotechnics and like the screen at the back and the energy and the atmosphere that the, all your senses are kind of amplified so to me it's just a minor thing and um, obviously it's, it's not it's not I wouldn't say it's nice to see but it just doesn't, doesn't really impact my night but yeah it's just I don't remember a night where it was just like 90% of people in there were probably on something it was just so so noticeable for the first time ever as in more noticeable than the other events I've been to obviously other events is quite obvious as well but it's yeah the volume was yeah a bit, a bit ridiculous but it is to be expected I'm either like I said it's part of the culture I've done some music a bit of a ramble, apart from that, sick night. I'm looking forward to tonight, tail buzz. Right, I'm gonna head back to the hostel and chill. I need to get the ticket for tonight and then, uh, not sure, I might jump in the seat or something like that. Catch you in a bit. Forget these. Maxibon, Waffle Bond Camo. Had one of these yesterday. Absolutely unreal. Like, just incredible. So nice. That's the one downside they live in the UK. You just sometimes don't get the best like, variety of food. Like. I haven't seen this version in the UK. I'll give you another example, like Haribo. Haribo on the on the European mainland. So many different choices and varieties, you know, and as someone who has a bit of a sweet tooth, it's a bit frustrating you can't get all those varieties in the UK. So, got to enjoy yourself whilst I'm on the mainland. Anyway, just thought I'd have a bit of a side tangent. Back to the hostel, catch you later. Just heading out now to get the bus from San Antonio to Pride and Bossa. Heading round two, heading to High to watch Tail of Us and Black Coffee, I think. So, looking forward to this, heard good things about Tail of Us. So, final night in Ibiza, round two of two. Let's go. <laughs> What's going on? Friday the 15th of September 2023 and we are done in Ibiza. 48 hours pretty much wrapped up. I've had breakfast, I'm just basically burning time so I have to leave the airport. And then today I head to Lisbon for the weekend for two nights and then I head home. So the final leg of this trip is now here, almost. Let's take back to last night. Tail buzz, hi, what a night. Fisher was better for me but it was close. It was very close. Uh, just what a night. Tailbuzz is an artist that I've wanted to see for a while. I've seen, they've seen a lot of posts on Instagram with it about their visuals. So like basically the, the screen in the back and the visuals they produce. And it was, it was fantastic. Like, it wasn't as good as, as what I'd seen on Instagram, but uh, still a very good evening for sure. Yeah, there's not much else I can say. The toilets, again, something else. For, you, for those of you guys who don't know, in the toilets in High, they have a DJ. And uh, the last two nights I've been there, he just absolutely smashed it. I saw a bit of black coffee. Personally, not an artist I'm that interested in, but I'll watch a bit of it, like 15 minutes maybe, and it was, it was decent. But yeah, such a sick night. Uh, way to finish my 40 hours on Ibiza. Went to bed at 8 a.m. and then I had to check out at 11, so I'm on two and a half hours sleep, which I don't recommend. Uh, it's a one off. Make sure you get your eight hours, eight hours a day, guys. Um, it's good for your health. But needs must. I did ask for a way to check out, but they didn't do way to check outs. I was like, I'm just dying. But yeah, what a night. Ibiza, thank you so much. It's been an incredible two days, and I wish I hadn't left it five years, and I will be back.
very very soon not five years for sure there's so much more I want to do here there's so many more events and clubs that I want to do here so definitely so I'll be returning to very very soon right I'm gonna round up here I know it has been just a lot of me talking, I haven't really shown you much of Ibiza, but that it was the nature of this trip. It was in out, party hard, have some incredible sort of dance floor memories, and I've definitely had that. I'm gonna round this up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed it, I hope you've, for those of you who are into dance music, I can't recommend Ibiza enough. For those of you who aren't into dance music, I'll be honest, I probably, I think you, you can come to Ibiza, I think you'll have a good time, but I think you have to be really select about what you do and the events you go to. This place is built for dance music lovers and like the conversations I had with a few people last night and the night before, it's like really into dance music and they come here just for that, to see the best DJs, to go to the best clubs, to experience the best sound and visuals. And like I said, it is something else. There is nowhere like this on the planet. No clubs or clubs, you know, so many clubs in one place come close. And again, I've not even ticked off most of them. I've only been to three clubs here over my two my three stints so if you're not into dance music i'd definitely say come but obviously just be a bit more selective about the, the events you go for because there are some die-hard party and dance fans here including myself so i'm gonna bounce up here thank you so much for watching scenes will be lisbon stay tuned see you later